Hey, what up y'all? Welcome back to Feast Mode, the show in which I break my fast with a bang bang. Two separate meals from two different sources tied together by some kind of theme. Uh, switching it up today a little bit, not only am I filming in my car, because I want this meal to be pretty epic, and I want to make sure that I can ensure it's eaten at its optimal state, but I'm also kind of trying to craft the perfect meal to break my 40 hour fast, um, as well as reintroduce meat back into my diet by uh, getting items from two of the best uh, two of some of the best fast casual burger places around and crafting a perfect meal out of that So initially my uh, thought was to get two full burger meals from two different places But I think that'd be a little too aggressive on my stomach, especially since I haven't eaten anything for 40 uh, 40 hours And let me show you with that real quick. I just hit the 40 hour mark like 10 minutes ago um, As well as not having meat in my diet for about 33 days now, so I wanted to kind of uh, ease up on it a little bit. So with that being said, I instead opted to get a Shack Stack burger from Shake Shack along with a side of cheese sauce to go with my Five Guys Little Cajun Fry and Five Guys uh, Milkshake. Uh, this is a vanilla milkshake with chocolate, banana, whipped cream, and peanut butter. Ooh. So Shake Shack is definitely my favorite fast casual burger spot. Uh, Five Guys is also really great and for sure uh, their Cajun fries I think are the best in the fast casual business whereas Shake Shack has the best burgers. I've never actually had the Shack Stack. I always, almost always get the regular cheeseburger or bacon burger. Um, so I'm very excited about this. All right, let's get into that. Check out the aesthetics real quick. Peep them. We got the uh, single patty all beef burger, a breaded and deep fried portobello mushroom burger uh, stuffed with, um, I think, cheddar cheese and some kind of other cheese, lettuce, tomato. Um, oh, I wish there was an onion in here, but there isn't. And mayonnaise. And of course, the uh, Cajun fries are uh, just regular potato fries, hand cut, um, and then dusted with a Cajun seasoning. All right, enough jibber jabber, let's get into this. 33 days without meat, and this is my reintroduction to it. Mm. Oh. <laughs> That's so good. Look at that cheese oozing out the back end of that mushroom patty. That's amazing. Mmm. That cheese pulled though. Oh my god. And of course I got a huge. This is the smallest damn fry they have. And this is at least twice the amount of fries contained in this little cup they give you. That's incredible. Oh boy. That's everything good in this world right now. Mmm. Also got some uh, Shake Shack barbecue sauce. Ooh, interesting color. It's more orange than I'm used to. Usually get that dark. Wow, I love the smell of that. A little bit spicy smelling. My God, these guys should have a partnership going. This is the best egg combination. Best fries with the best burger. Haven't had to shake it. But I'm guessing this will be damn good. I don't want to be hyperbolic, but I feel like this is the best damn burger I've ever had. Mmm, that's too soft. 
It's velvety and smooth. Great cheese flavor. I think they use American cheese as their base, but I'm pretty sure there's also cheddar cheese in there as well. It's got a great con consistency. Mm. And these fries from Five Guys are double fried. So get that nice crispy exterior while I'm remaining really fluffy and soft on the inside. You do have to eat them quick though. There's no preservatives. I've actually worked at Five Guys for a couple years when I was in college. So I know all the ins and outs. I can attest to the quality of their, of their ingredients. All right, let's try this. Vanilla milkshake with the chocolate, uh, peanut butter, caramel, and whipped cream on top. It's always a good sign when you're having a milkshake, when you have trouble initially pulling that milkshake out of the straw. Nice and thick, just the way I like it. Mm. So at 40 hours, I think this is the longest fast I've recorded um, a video for for this YouTube series. And for sure, eating food like this is not the best way to break yourself back in. And I'll go over in a, in a future video some of the best things you can do, some of the best foods you can eat, and sort of the methods of eating that food. Um, to ease yourself back into eating again, or to break that fast. Um, but today I'm just trying to enjoy this, man. But yeah, that's we'll, we'll call that a disclaimer. Don't eat this kind of food when you're coming off a long fast and introducing food or meat back into your diet. You're gonna regret it later on. Oh, it's hot. God, this cheese in this mushroom burger or mushroom patty is killer. There's so much of it. Tastes similar to the cheese sauce. Mm. So rich, creamy. The bun is the perfect texture. Nice and soft and pillowy. The meat got that smash burger consistency where it has that sort of crispy exterior and the inside is juicy and tender. Not a cheap burger by any means. Um, the Shake Shack or the stack, Shack Stack is about eleven dollars with tax. This whole meal cost me about twenty bucks, but it definitely has the quality to back it up. It's fantastic. I also do like the Shake Shack uh, fries, the crinkle cut frozen fries, but without a doubt these. Cajun fries from Five Guys are definitely superior. And I think I'm a little biased towards Five Guys because I worked there for a good year and a half, maybe two years in college, like I said. And I've been hundreds of their burgers, hundreds, literally hundreds. And once I stopped working there, I think I've only had Five Guys maybe three times since. That was never my choice. Again, just because I've eaten so many of them, you just kind of get kind of that uh, gag reflex when you see that food again. But it's still really good. They're definitely like a top three fast casual burger uh, franchise. Remember the first time you had a burger? You are probably four or five years old. Your mom and dad took you to McDonald's most likely. They get you a Happy Meal. You get either a hamburger or cheeseburger, which is not good at McDonald's. Well, the cheeseburger is okay. The hamburger is uh, trash. It really needs that cheese. And even though it's a withered, dried out burger, fries are probably cold. They give you that choking hazard of a toy. That first bite of that burger changed your life. I know it changed mine. 
That moment right there is the only moment that eclipses how good this burger is to me right now. Damn, that's a tasty shake. So what did I learn from my 33 days of not having I learned that it wasn't the end of the world. And I could probably go another month if I really, really wanted to, but I didn't want to. But if I had to, I probably could without too much trouble. I almost, I kind of assumed that I would see some performance or there'd be performance hits in my, my gym output, but there really weren't any at all. The output was still pretty good. Never felt weak or tired or ornery like I expected I might and I was definitely faced with a lot of temptations throughout that month and a half or month or month and three days there were times I went there's one time I went to my parents house to show them the movie Parasite and once I got there they had all this boxes and boxes literally boxes and boxes of uh, Korean fried chicken to take home and to eat there and I had to say no to all of it and instead I had a Chipotle salad bowl with uh, sofritas which is like their vegetarian option which, by the way, isn't very good. Wouldn't recommend it. But, um, yeah, I was able to do it uh, with relative ease. Or, I'd say it wasn't as hard as I thought. And I think moving forward, I can easily cut down on the meat that I eat during my day-to-day -day and just increase the quality of the meat. Hence the Shake Shack Burger instead. And I also was thinking about maybe in the future going, maybe not a month on vegan, but maybe two weeks, three weeks vegan and kind of testing that out as well. All right, that's the last of the burger. Best burger in the fast food, fast casual business. It's not, it's not inexpensive, but you definitely get what you pay for. Coupled with the best, French fries in the fast casual business. Again, not cheap, but you get a ton. You get a ton for the money. So definitely recommend that as well. Incredible shake. Um, I don't remember the taste of Shake Shack's concrete. It's been a long time since I've had them, but this is definitely something I would recommend as well. Delicious. Oh man. All right, it's gonna be a short one today, guys. I'm wrapping up here. If you guys like the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, tell your friends, tell your enemies, tell your loved ones, tell your family. Till next time, Beast Mode out.